Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smotel and welcome back to another video. Today in today's video we are going to be talking about the Outlanders of Hytale. If you guys already don't know what the Outlanders is in Hytale, it's basically a faction of its own, a hostile faction, and we did see a little bit of a snippet of what the Outlanders can look like in the trailer. I'll run that clip real quick. As you can see, it's pretty much a big guy with a giant sword, and the sword's so big he can't even pick it up, he's just grabbing it and it, it's scraping against the ground. He got like some little skeletons behind him and everything and uh, that's pretty much what we see from the outlanders we can also see a little bit of the battle style with the mages and the big guy swinging his mace around so it gives us a little bit of a sneak peek of what the combat system looks like but mainly what we're going to look at is the outlanders and what they actually are why they're inside of the world of orbis and uh what we can expect from encountering them on the website it says that the outlanders are a hostile faction whose camps can be found through zone three they are defensive and territorial and as such pose a threat to adventurers and settlers alike how they came to be this way and the true nature of some of the more sinister aspects of outlander culture are mysterious and you'll solve them for yourselves as you uncover the secrets of the forbidden wilderness that the outlanders call home so from this little bit of a statement we can already tell that uh outlanders are in zone three they're like you know territorial towards zone three uh zone three is the third zone which you know the third one but it's mainly the winter zone which we covered in the last video so make sure you guys check that out it tells you everything about zone three and you know a bunch of other stuff so check that one out but yeah the outlanders they are home to zone three they pose a threat to adventures as adventurers and settlers but one of the key things that points out to me is it says the true nature of some of the more sinister aus aspects of outlander culture uh which digs deep into how they got there why are they hostile uh who are these people and uh what did we do to them you know what i mean if we go down a little bit further we learn about some of the outlander mobs uh which is a ranger as you can see on the screen right now these little archers are there about to you know take down some bison or whatnot it says that outlander rangers roam further afield than most of their kind venturing into the wilderness to hunt or to keep watch at the boundaries of an outlander territory expert ambushes their bows makes them dangerous at rage to anyone who perceives as a threat which is actually really really cool they're pretty much the protectors of the outside of the uh of their little base camp they go outside and you know they, they keep watch and if they see somebody that poses a threat they'll take you down with their you know bows and arrows which i think is really really cool i like the mechanics of how these mobs work um and just to see how intelligent these mobs are just from you know the website itself it begs to differ like what are, what are the other mobs in high really going to be like if this mob has that big of intelligence behind it i i suppose that other mobs are gonna you know follow the same order you feel which is actually really really cool it makes me already feel like the mob system or the danger system in high is gonna be far better uh or far harder i suppose than minecraft you know minecraft they just have random mobs they they walk randomly they don't really you know protect any territory except the iron golem i suppose but other than that they don't really protect any type of territory and if there's something near them they just go attack without any type of coordination no intelligence behind it they just go full force ahead you know but these mobs in high they have a little bit of intelligence behind them like see they're hiding behind uh, a dirt blocks trying to not have the bison see them uh they're approaching from behind out of you know out of out of way uh they're behind leaves they're trying to hide you know what i mean like that's 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 pretty smart for a for a mob next we'll get into somewhat of a little bit of a backstory uh behind outlanders it says that suffice to say that they've always seen the world differently to other elements of human civilization and this difference combined with their particular connection to zone three has led them to explore darker forms of magic than you may encounter elsewhere which is actually really really exciting um that pretty much confirms the magic in high i'm pretty sure there was we was already expecting magic in high because of the trailer with the mage and everything but this kind of goes further this reminds me of the mod thomcraft from minecraft so if you ever played thomcraft or played thomcraft with add-ons you'll know about the deep dark secret of magic and then there's like these mobs that try to like come after you when you get further into the magic and if you have add-ons then you could go to like another realm with the magic and defeat bosses and stuff like i feel like this is kind of not it's not the same but you know it's, it's kind of down that alley where you have dark magic there's mobs that use dark magic uh you can probably learn dark magic yourself um and you know just be a whole dark magician or something i don't know but i think it's really really cool especially for the fact that we've 
already have confirmed mobs that focus in dark magic and and study dark magic you know i think that's super duper cool it also goes to say that the evidence of these beliefs can be found deep in the outer lands camps where those who commit themselves fully to the as esoteric as I'm, I've never seen that word before it said a sort of bad path adore their dwellings and their bodies with sacred symbols at night the campfires of the outlanders burn green as they perform mysterious rituals now one thing that I am wondering does the mobs have a progression system um as you know in Minecraft chunks don't load unless the player is nearby which means that any mods that have a progression system, uh, mobs don't progress by themselves since there's no chunks loading for that mob to actually progress. So I'm kind of like a little bit iffy on if like villages and, and outposts and, you know, things like this, do they actually progress? Do the mobs progress and get stronger by themselves uh, as time goes on? That's 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 something to think about. Or are they just flat out just gonna stay like this for the rest of the entirety of your hightail world you know i think it would be pretty cool if mobs actually progressed over time and got stronger as you played the game more i think that would be really really cool as we can see in the video it looks like they're trying to do some type of ritual with the green smoke uh you see two outlanders walking up to like the little gate and then you see the mage guy i think that's the chief the head boss which i I think that's actually pretty cool as well like they're both walking up to the chief and the chief looks back at them left and right which makes me feel there's some type of interaction between mobs um and i think that in itself is actually really really cool like mobs can actually go and talk to themselves um hmm. that's that's actually really really good it goes further and says that outlanders rights occur in well-defended encampments and hidden places uh it says that they have achieved a measure of mastery over death itself drawing this power from the mystical waters of the wilderness whatever the truth magical power is wielded chiefly by outlanders priest and uh, we can see a picture of the priest right here um which i think he looks badass you know he has like the little mage staff that has like the glowing skulls and everything that's just that's 100 percent just dark power mage guy right there like he's pretty strong i already know he's pretty pretty strong and then gonna say that priest brings what uh, priest brings water magic to bear in defense of their people and act as the leaders of the outpost civilization as a whole their connection to magic ancient magic makes them uniquely important figures and formidable foes not the most formidable mind that honor belongs to someone that you've already met and he's keen to reintroduce reintroducing himself um this whole statement is lit um it basically tells us that the the king or the the leader of the outlander civilization is a priest and that priest being the guy with the staff and everything like that like he's gonna be a pretty pretty dangerous boss but it also says he's not the most formidable you know there's another guy that we got to watch out for which is the same guy that we've seen from the trailer that changed a little bit uh, if we played his video instead of dragging a long sword he's now dragging or not even dragging he's that man got stronger my man's he's able to hold a whole axe now he looks a little bit bigger i'm not sure if they like redid the mob from the trailer or is this like another mob that we're gonna have alongside the the previous mob that we've seen in the trailer i'm not sure either way they both look strong and I'm super excited to fight them myself. But yeah, overall, I think the Outlanders and High Toll is going to be awesome. Um, one thing to know, I don't think this is the only faction that we're going to see. I think there's going to be multiple factions in High Toll that we're probably going to have to fight. Some hostile factions, some passive fast, passive uh factions uh, i think is gonna be absolutely insane and not the count that we haven't even seen the other two zones this is only zone three i believe there's five zones in total and if this zone is that dangerous with magic and priest and super duper crazy bosses and craziness you you best believe that zone four and five are gonna have something insane you know and i'm pretty sure this isn't gonna be the only faction i think there's gonna be stronger factions probably weaker factions probably passive factions maybe even hold kingdoms that are are nice to help us and give us quests and gold and have shops and everything you know it's just, it's just it's wild okay it's wild and note that this also says adventure mode i'm pretty sure there's gonna be different modes just like minecraft has different modes um i hope there's a story mode i really really hope there's a story mode the hightail 
uh, where instead of it being more of a sandbox game, it's more of a story type of RPG type of game. Um, and then you have the adventure mode, which is more sandboxy, and then you probably have creative and you know, etc., etc., etc. But overall, I think Outlanders and Hightail is going to be insane. Um, I think they're going to be from they're going to be a formidable foe for sure. I'm just hoping that I get some of their gear. You know, I hope I get me some dark magic myself. I hope that I get the staff, the priest, you know, stuff like that. I think would be insane. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys don't know, I do go live on Twitch every single day except Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, my streams really start at nine. Link is right there, Smojo underscore right the twitch.tv slash smojo underscore right So yeah, check me out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day and peace.